नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अनुराधा रॉय वर्किंग प्रेजेंटली एट द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रसूति तंत्र फैकल्टी ऑफ आयुर्वेद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेज बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन अ फीमेल्स लाइफ ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी दैट इज द प्रेगनेंसी हेमरेज और वॉट वी मे से इज अ प्रेगनेंसी ब्लीडिंग particularly with a concern to abortion so as soon as a female desiring of pregnancy get a news that she is pregnant there is no limitation of her joy and the curve of her happiness goes to the peak but as soon as she get and uh, she feels that some bleeding or some spotting type of uh, thing is coming out per vagina her graph comes absolutely inverted and she is in a uh, very much agony and uh, her physical as well as the mental state goes very uh, wrong and uh, this condition is very important to be managed well from both the physical as well as psychological point of view so to start with uh, the pregnancy bleeding particularly has got a various types of causes and almost 80% of the causes of early pregnancy bleeding uh, may be uh, because of the abortion uh, because of the high dd form mole what we call is a molar pregnancy where there is a, a, a trophoblastic disorder is that it may be because of the bleeding disorders like hemophilia it can be because uh, the the lady may be taking some kind of blood thinning medications and she is not aware that she is pregnant it may be because of some disturbed ectopic pregnancy or it can be because of some sort of uh, chorio carcinoma or carcinoma cervix or it can be because of a pregnancy associated with a ruptured ovarian cyst so there are various causes for the early pregnancy bleeding during uh, the phases so the maternal factors of early pregnancy bleeding as i have already stated may be categorized as maybe because of the cervical sensitivity it can be because of infection molar pregnancy subchorionic hemorrhage or the implantation bleeding now out of these uh, factors the subchorionic hemorrhage and implantation bleeding are uh, quite common where the subchorionic hemorrhage we get a finding that there is a bleeding or there is a blood clot which is being present between the uterine layer and the chorionic membrane and in implantation bleeding uh, we uh, get a spotting or a kind of very light kind of bleeding per vaginum and it is mostly seen 7 to 14th day after the fertilization and it's because of the implantation being done during that period where when the embedding is done in the decidua so subchorionic hemorrhage is mostly uh, anchory uh, you know finding we get from the ultrasonographical finding whereas implantation bleeding patient give a history that such, such type of spotting is been uh, seen uh, during her stay now if we see the uh, definition of abortion according to who it is the pregnancy termination prior to 20 weeks of pregnancy or Uh, of gestation or before uh, it's being 500 grams less than that when there is termination of pregnancy it is termed as abortion but clinically and as per the medical legal aspect we see as the period of viability is 28 weeks so we consider the abortion prior to 28 weeks to be Uh, coined as a term of abortion now this definition varies as, as per the state law as per the uh, national center of health statistics cdc and who so uh, uh, statistically if we say that globally 56 million of abortion takes place every year and it is estimated that 15.6 million abortion take place in india every year and a significant proportion of these are expected to be unsafe i repeat it is expected to be unsafe so the unsafe abortion is 
third largest cause for the maternal mortality leading to death and 10 women each day and thousands more they face uh, various morbidity and morbidity may count from you see from incomplete abortion it can lead to severe hemorrhage it leads to uterine perforation infection injury to the internal organs because of perforation and much more so classification of abortion if we see may be broadly classified as the spontaneous and the induced one now spontaneous it can be isolated that means only once she has encountered this spontaneous type of abortion or it can be a recurrent recurrent when it is more than 3 or more than 3 uh, times of uh, abortion consecutively we coin it as recurrent type of uh, abortion now again this uh, both this isolated and recurrent can be sub categorized under threatened inevitable complete incomplete missed and septic now coming to the other side that is the induced abortion it can be broadly under a uh, legal and illegal now uh, legal as we know is a any couple who is not desired to continue for the pregnancy may come to a registered medical officer and may terminate their pregnancy and we call it as a uh, medical termination of pregnancy but if it is the same thing is illegal then it is uh, unsafe and it mostly accounts the septic form of abortion then uh now let's uh, quickly see uh, the basic difference between all these types of uh, abortion if we see that first that is the threatened abortion if we see the definition uh, is that the clinical entity uh, of such type of abortion where uh, you see the the pregnancy continuation is possible the state the clinical entity where the progress of abortion has not reached to that state that from where the recovery is impossible that means in this type of abortion we can manage and we can continue the pregnancy very safely now clinical features of this threatened abortion uh, it includes like bleeding per vaginum and uh, it is mostly it is a uh, painless type of bleeding oftenly it can be seen without any uh, practical reason for such type of bleeding now pelvic examination so far if possible should be avoided if uh, if uh, if if the ultrasonography uh, is being supported and the facility of usg is available then pelvic examination should be avoided otherwise it has to be done very gently as possible Uh, now per speculum examination will reveal uh, the sort of bleeding which uh, which may be you know spotting it can be uh, much more than a uh, spotting and uh, per vaginal digital examination uh, we will get the closed uh, external cervical os but here is again a point to be remember that in multi gravida and multi para the external os is patchulous so it should not be confused that the cervical os is open and it to be considered under the other variety of abortion external os in case of multi parity or multi para women will be patchulous but the internal cervical os will be closed that is the most basic difference between a threatened and an inevitable type of abortion now the uterine size will correspond to the period of amenorrhea and the uterus and the cervix will feel soft then coming to the second sub category that is the inevitable abortion the definition is the changes of that type of pregnancy has progressed to a state from which the continuation of pregnancy is not possible so it is very difficult and the clinical feature will be like a uh, per speculum examination there will be heavy bleeding will be uh, coming out and the clinical features will be the pain will be associated with heavy bleeding and mostly in the lower abdomen the pain uh, variety type will be colicky type of uh, you know lower abdominal pain will be there and uh, it will be aggravated with certain causes then 
pelvic examination there will be dilatation or the dilated internal os of the cervix will be there and one can very well appreciate the product of conception coming out through the os or with the digital examination we can feel the product of conception which has been dislodged from the its proper its normal place so this is the basic difference between the inevitable and the threatened abortion where in inevitable abortion the cervical os will be open whereas in case of threatened it will be closed and the pain will be associated in case of the inevitable abortion where whereas in threatened abortion there will be the bleeding will be not associated with any sort of pain now coming to the third variety that is the complete abortion where the product of conception uh, is being expelled and messy that means the whole product of conception or the uh, has been has already come out and the uterus is now empty and the clinical features will be the patient will give a history that some bolus of fleshy mass has come out from the uterus and uh, while coming out there was a very severe pain along with bleeding and after which the there will be uh, reduced or uh, absolutely nil uh, vaginal bleeding and there is no pain even the pelvic examination will reveal the uterus uh, which is will be uh, felt smaller than the period of amenorrhea and it will feel firm and the cervical os will now be closed as all of the product of conception has already been expelled out and the bleeding will be either in trace or it will be there will be no bleeding at all so this is a complete abortion then coming to the next variety that is the incomplete abortion where the product of conception has ex being expelled but not incomplete that means a part of product of conception has been expelled out but a little bit of or or even the more than little bit is uh, it's still there inside the uterus the clinical feature will be the patient will give a history that a certain amount of mass has come out from the per vagina and there will be pain of uh, intermittent type and the bleeding will also be there and it will be of uh, you know varying magnitude type of bleeding will be there pelvic examination the uterus will be smaller than the period of amenorrhea the os will be patchulous both the os the internal and the external os the bleeding will vary and uh, we can even appreciate the uh, the product of conception still being coming out or being expelled through the os so this is incomplete abortion then the next is missed abortion this we appreciate mostly when patient used to come to us with the ultrasound report of missed abortion so this variety of abortion is defined when uh when the fetus is uh, already been uh, dead and retained inside the uterus for uh, you know more than 4 weeks or so and uh, ultrasonographically it is being appreciated and uh, the finding is being confirmed the clinical feature will be there will be a brownish discharge brownish vaginal discharge will be there and there will be you know a subsidence of the pregnancy symptoms like nausea vomiting breast tenderness and all other early pregnancy symptoms will be reduced there will be retrogression of the breast changes as i have already told and uh, there will be no fetal heart sound the cervix will be firm and the most important point will be that there will be negative uh, immunological test will be there now a pelvic examination will show the uterus smaller than the period of amenorrhea and the bleeding will be trace so this is a kind of abortion what, what we call is a missed abortion now the last that is the septic abortion uh, it is mostly as i have already told uh, is is found in the illegal type of uh, abortion and uh, any abortion which is associated with the clinical evidence or the clinical finding of infection to the uterus and its content that means the pre the product of conception the infection to the uterus and the product of conception is defined as the septic abortion and the clinical features will be all uh, those of sepsis like uh, there will be very foul smelling vaginal discharge will be there there will be rise in temperature uh, to the female maybe uh, 100 or 101 
uh, or uh, it will be for more than 24 hours persistence will be there there will be severe pain abdomen loss of appetite so uh, this type of things will be there and uh, uh, the lower abdominal tenderness will be there so this is uh, all the clinical features of the septic abortion now causes of spontaneous abortion if we see the spontaneous abortion is mostly seen uh, in the first trimester that is uh, from the fertilization up to the 12 weeks of pregnancy and two third of this early pregnancy spontaneous type of abortion is because of the chromosomal embryonic defect whereas one third is the implantation failure and under this implantation failure it can be because of the uterine malformation it can be because of any trauma particularly to the lower abdomen psychological causes infections like rubella malaria typhoids uh, and such type of infections may be the cause now the mid pregnancy abortion the mostly cause is the maternal cause and the mostly appreciable cause is the anatomical defect under this anatomical defect what we uh, what we encounter uh, very frequently is a cervical uh, cervical incompetence and infections like syphilis rubella endocrinal defects like uh, luteal phase defect maybe uncontrolled diabetes mellitus pcod so these are the endocrinal factors we will see one by one now see in the under the maternal infection torch infection that is toxoplasma rubella cytomegalo have uh, herpes malaria etc infections may be there the medical uh, maternal medical disorders like uh, uncontrolled hypertension chronic renal diseases cyanotic heart diseases hemoglobinopathy environmental factors like excessive uh, consumption of alcohol caffeine uh, exposure to the radiation particularly you know uh, any pregnant woman who is working in a uh, in a radiology department particularly exposed to the uh, radiation anesthetic gases endocrinal factors like luteal phase defect thyroid abnormalities both the hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism then poorly controlled diabetes mellitus polycystic ovarian disease immunological causes like anti phospholipid antibody syndrome inherited thrombophiliasis uh, 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 thrombophilis so these are the immunological and endocrinal causes which may be the major factor contributing to spontaneous abortion uterine factors like cervical incompetence mullerian abnormalities or anomalies like the biconvoluted uterus mostly the septate uterus it can be a transverse or a, a vertical uh, septation large and middle uh, submucosal leiomyomas acermans acerman syndrome these are the uterine factors other factors like drugs any uh, pregnant woman who is taking you see the drugs like anti convulsant anti malarial drug anesthetic drugs surgery trauma subchorionic hematoma or uh, uh, you know uh, the defective plantation may be the factor so uh, till now uh, we have discussed about the modern counterpart of abortion early pregnancy bleeding particularly of uh, uh, this abortion and uh, now in the second half we will see the ayurvedic counterpart what our acharyas have mentioned about abortion that is garbha under the uh, consideration of garbha strav and garbha path so please be with us for the second section namaskar